Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Learn How to Play Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. This time we're going to learn how to play the Vasari. And if you are familiar with Tech or Advent, this will be a huge departure with how we have to do it. I'm least experienced with Vasari though, so there's lots of room for interpretation and improvement on what I'm going to do. I'm also going to play a slightly different game mode. We're going to say Capital Victory is the way you got to do. So. Your capital is your capital no matter what, so this game type is pretty nasty for huge maps. And you really need to protect the capital. We'll have we'll play 2v2. We'll go allied again. And Vasari. So they have two wonderful sh titans. They like to eat ships. Um, I generally favor the rebel factions in general it's this is a bit of a generalization but you're basically looking at dps on this side and economics on the left that'd be my description of it and the way it sort of plays out in sins of a solar empire is i like to have well i sort of take care of the economics with my play style and the game typically takes care of or I like to have factions that take care of the military side. And I'm picking our opponents here just because we ended up against tech like crazy before. We'll go against some loyalists. And I'm going to go with a random teammate. And again, we're going to put everyone on normal again. This map also, the AI tends to play quite well. So food for thought. And I'm going to normalize the income rates. I was playing a game online with a friend, so we'll uh, adjust that. Yeah, this should be good, I think. And let's start, shall we? There's work to be done. Are you interested? Oh, whoops. <laughs> well, we have to build. It's all right. We're doing a different uh, game style. So by default, this is how it used to be. You didn't get all these nice things to start off. Scouts and all that stuff. Insufficient. But your first capital ship was oh cheap there we go was free there we are we'll go with the evacuator ugliest ship in the game on the lookout point the way so the gemini map is Frigate very ready. very symmetrical they change it up a little bit by having some things that are sort of mirrored across the two sides, but that's about it. We'll just speed up the gameplay. Frigate ready. So with Vasari, they have kind of an interesting dilemma. Complete. Frigate ready. Frigate ready. Come on. Oh, wait. We do not start with good logistics or infrastructure on the slow start setting. And they're just starting on our capital ship factory right now, so we've got some time before we're ready to go out and explore for real. Scouts have discovered a colonizable planet. Okay. Dwarf planet looks pretty good. One super nice thing about the Vasari is that their scouts are able to find freestanding extractors and uh, pump re or like build the constructors themselves or their extractors themselves. Um, that's kind of a bad explanation. I'm not exactly sure how to articulate it, but I'll be able to show you very shortly. Way. So there we go, the space junks. They are not colonizable, that's fine. You can see the and symmetry of the map coming out. Resistance. Did you offer me something already? No, okay. The secret shall be revealed. So 
my friend and yours, the Navigator. At We're going to try to get to this system as fast as possible, because I could get 0. 0.61 of each resource, or of metal, times two. Tech and Advent would have to send a missionary vessel or a colony ship here, and they would build up the extractors. For the Vasari, a scout can do it. Uh, even better. From me. So I've turned him off of Auto Explorer because I want him sitting around here building these extractors, and we'll get all of them. And my ally will get none, and it will be delightful. What would you ask of me? Okay. Speed. The Vasari have very good frigates An to start out. Plan. And that's about all they have going for them. We have, or at least the way I play them, there's sort of a hump that you have to get over. Um, trade port is four levels deep. And they Very don't have great jump. means of making money, particularly in the early game. So that's just a tough pill to swallow. The good news is they have a very good starting frigate, and that'll be enough for us at the very beginning. I am going to invest. Whoops. Which way? Oh shoot, he's on auto explore still. Well, that's a friggin' tragedy. That's okay. We've got an easy plan to claim here. I await your command. I await your command. I'm not thrilled with their decision to go after this guy. Anyway, what's going to happen to us in general is we're going to be relying on our relatively good starting frigate. You'll note it uses seven supply, which is crazy. But pretty good firepower and pretty good shields. Almost like they're in the same statistical ballpark as illuminators for the advent. They even cost a bit more in terms of complete. supply. Um, now they aren't as good, but they're, they're all right. I think it's still gonna be losing us money until we get one more level of upgrade here, but that's all right. I await your command. We made kind of a questionable choice by letting the AI continue to go after the non-bomber. Yeah, and he's going to hamper the development of this planet. But there's only six people on it, so who cares? Don't let my people know I said that. Structure complete. Almost. Almost. Structure complete. There we are. Point to the way. Not enough antimatter, so we'll be waiting a little while for it to get there but it'll be totally worth it oh and most importantly Structure don't let no, enemy factions take it i'm even gonna finished. sneak out another navigator and i'm just gonna camp at least one of them in these two systems On the lookout. our economy has stabilized relatively speaking And time is short. we have a Find decent me. amount of money, so I'm going to go after the second planet. This Algoa, it has pretty good defenses, like two Kodiak cruisers. That's, ships have left base. that's nothing to shake a stick at, that's for sure. Preparing for phase jump. This will give us more people on our home world. I'm going to go for that because we're going to be relying on taxation as a source of income. And we'll go with the Imperial Labs as soon as we can. I don't expect this uh, place to see a ton of combat. Standing by. Now watch the pirates will attack it right away. Which way? All right, now we're laughing. They can't hide from me. Plessia has been acquired. Whoops. I suppose I could our just hit. No, never mind. Our planet. <laughs> I 
Research finished. You'll note I went for the dead planet or the dwarf planet first. They're actually quite a bit better uh, than asteroids. Yeah, don't confuse a dwarf planet with a dead planet either. Or a dead asteroid, pardon me, because they're quite different. In that one's amazing. So let's take a look at our resource breakdown. Galilea is making a serious contribution, and it has required no investment besides producing a scout. That is a huge deal. Okay, now we have the elephant in the room. Research finished. So Algoa has a fleet larger than mine there defending it. We get one more Imperial Lab. Reconnaissance reveals that a pirate raid ah, is shoot. forming. We'll see if we can coax our... Well, you know what? I think my friend could use the experience points. Planet development I am such finished. a terrible ally. Now, because we are playing the capital game mode... I am going to just build one B or missile defense platform right now. What would you ask it's not fulfilling me? any super important ta a role right now. I'll see to it. Point to the way. I'm gonna put one of them on auto explore again. I'm Although since we have shared vision with my ally, he's done a really good job of scouting out everything else. Okay, our I'll capital ship's in there now. Space. The fact that there was an enemy scout may throw everything Our off. Time is short. No turning back. Standing by. I think we will probably get the best value. This is strike leader. Going after the Kodiaks first. They're going to focus all of their firepower on the capital ship as well. Just get the word. So hopefully it can hold up that long. Alright, we've got trade ports. So we've gotten over the, the Iron Curtain at the start. We can improve our population growth rate and stuff like that. Uh, I'm instead going to opt for resource. You'll note that resource extraction bonuses are paired with Vasari. They can't separate uh, crystal and so on. That's okay. We're actually having, economically speaking, an okay start to the game. Although, there's a really good chance I'm going to regret going after this desert planet. We'll, we'll see. Shields are almost down, but they represent a minority of its defenses. And things go oh, there went the fighters. Case could be made that we should have gone after the Flak Frigate first, but I'm more concerned with what's going to take down my ships. So. The Nana Disassembler is what I'm going to go with. It has the very nice property of lowering enemy armor. Ship shields are offline. So we should be able to whittle through these guys more quickly. There's just standard damage per second, which is also really great. But So they have one armor now instead. So all of our attacks are doing more now that their shields are down. Would have been kind of nice if we could get that out of the way beforehand. And if you were really good at micromanaging, you could have identified, oh, we don't need that much more experience points for a level up. Gone after a smaller ship. We probably could have. It's 100 for a Kodiak, I think. And we only needed a few. But! This is going reasonably well. 
I need orders. They've split up their targeting now. I'm gonna actually try way. getting this guy out of here. Immediately. He might kite them, and more importantly, I don't want to take a loss. Research finished. What would you ask of me? Death to the enemy in the Empire's Oops. honor. No this Kurosawa frigate back. will probably get killed by secondary weapons. Yeah, there you go. Alright, we did not take a loss, which is super nice. Speed. So now would be an okay time to think about taking it off autocast. Okay, we have zero antimatter pretty much, so I'm going to take off autocast. Because I think we can probably do the rest of this fight without taking a loss. We've still got all of our extractors, we've got a ton of money which will be good for kickstarting this colony. And we can set up our trade network now. And our media network as well. There went our money, but we have our metal, which is fetching a decent price right now. So with this, the pursuit has been the same, but we haven't been able to uh, go after anything else. We'll be able to worry about improving our ship quality and so on. Immediately. All right, might as well fly it into range. And yeah, this is pretty good. We've By the time we arrive, we should have enough to colonize. So yeah, our timing has been very good. I'll see to it. Structure complete. The next major goal is going to be to get these planets at the very least. I'm going to trust my ally will be able to take care of colonizing his desert planet, although I might try grabbing it from him. It has more ships, but fewer cruisers. Insufficient credits. Hmm. We have good credit income now, especially by Vasari standards, so. Speak. No matter how we go about it. Oh, can we shoot that thing down? Thank you. Finally. That was very special. I'm glad it's gone. An allied colony is under attack. That would be the pirates. Structure complete. Hmm. Planet development finished. Well, maybe you should not abandon your homeworld at a time like this. Okay, I think I'm going to go for the Arctic planet uh, on the grounds that it's fairly easy uh, to take. An allied fleet needs assistance. Oh, come on, guys. An uh, and that this is the gateway to our, our entire side of the map. I'm going to encourage my... Oh my goodness, he has no frigates. What what happened, guy? Planet development finished. He's going to lose his home world. <laughs> oh boy. Cause it's not like he has trade ships to tank damage. Well this will be very interesting. For phase jump. The good news is he's done some good scouting for us. And he'll continue to. Our ships have left phase. They do not have. Ooh, 
they don't really have anything going for Structure them. Structure complete. We've scattered out pretty much all of their territory. I'm going to try to steal an extractor from them. Because if we can even pump some of their resources over here, that would just be fantastic. And it would be taking advantage of our speak Vasariness. Oh boy. Research finished. So he's turning it. Oh boy. He is in so much trouble. Defend your homeworld, man. What would you ask of me? There's pretty good resources here. And you'll note it's defended accordingly. Also, if we view the map as a sharing thing, this would be the part I'm responsible for. Planet is relatively developed. We've got Advent and Vasari on the other side, so getting a culture bomb dropped on us is a bit of a legitimate concern, but I think I'm going to try to deal with the culture issues from Nimiro, assuming we take it, but I like my chances. Okay, the computer did not immediately identify which one of my skirmishers was weakened, so that's good. And you'll note one <laughs> one property of Vasari. We have Structure fairly mediocre complete. monetary income and really good resource income because of course it was really easy to set up these extractors which are fairly lucrative. Let me investigate. Siphon some crystal. Planet development no, finished. We'll be okay. All the most important thing is that they have not colonized these planets, so we can take over a majority of the map if we are careful. We also might have to two on one this. <laughs> What? Why? And you guys are just gonna keep losing money that way. Well, I should I should send the pirates on them again. Planet lockdown complete. Otherwise, how would they learn? Oh, I've accidentally cl Planet clicked a construction frigate. Finished. Even though we don't really need all those resources. Let me investigate as fast as I can. Okay. My friend and yours is scouting out their territory and they have not colonized this planet. So if you watch the last oh goodness. What would you ask The last episode me? I talked about the dangers and perils of overexpansion. I am kind of afraid that that'll be a big deal. Bounty on an empire has increased. Uh, fine. I'll play your game. We have a decent selling price on metal, so I'm going to sell off a whole bunch of it. We also are terribly underdeveloped in terms of our weapons laboratories. I think we're gonna, I'm going to assume we're going to have a bottleneck here. 
also there's a really good chance I could be facing off against both of them just based on how things are going. Our time is short. And he, he absolutely needs to hold his capital. Ah, oh boy. The problem is there's two pirate infested city, uh, planets, pardon me, not cities. Pirate raiders have left their base. Planet development finished. Someone matched me, but it shouldn't have been enough. I think they might be coming for me. Either way, we've got a little bit of time. I'm going to take a risk and try helping my friend because I'm terribly worried about him. Structure complete. Get some basic upgrades on our firepower and the like. Jump together, boys, jump together. An excellent plan. Except the capital ship, which will jump Standing first. By. Never mind, they jump together. Immediately. I'll see to it. My efforts to get it to arrive Start first did not complete. work. Our ships have left phase space. Now I've put this one disproportionately forward, and that's because we're gonna try getting a phase finished. jump inhibitor in there sooner or later, but we're going to want it to cover the actual escape vectors. All bounty has been depleted. We also are taking our dear sweet time on upgrading our fleet, and I think I'm going to have to go for it. Which is a bit lame. We're in the All bounty has been depleted in the colonization phase still, but we'll be okay. I also don't want to sink too much money into it there. Our time is short. Speak. Because of the fact that I think we're doing okay. Because of the fact that we're Structure about to get another logistics level and another planet and might be dealing with pirates, like, I don't want to break the bank right now. We might need every penny we've got. Great, so you guys can mass your fleet here. Search finished. I cannot stress this enough. Please save yourself. Our time is short. We've got lots of antimatter. I think I can finished. get away with going for the quick kill here. And that means nanites. Let me investigate. Structure complete. They can't hide from me. He might get shot down because I was a little slow on the draw getting its path path planned out. Also, we don't have the ability to colonize that volcanic planet. I probably should have thought of that in advance, but that's okay. Speak. Uh, I need orders. Okay, we will make the questionable choice of sending all of our frigates to a system. And we'll just keep going with the skirmishers, I guess. They're a decent enough ship, unlike the other factions. Building a ton of research finished. Your starting frigate is not it's not a bad idea with Vasari. You can do better, but you can do a lot worse as well. 
Research finished. Basically, we're able to sell our way to a capital ship. Frigate ready. I quite like the Marauder, and I like the Desolator a fair bit as well. So we're going to go with the Desolator to start off. Um, it has a move called Disintegration, Standing so that's pretty good. What would you ask of me? That does it for me. More research is needed. It isn't looking good for Nasiris. I wonder why. Insufficient credits. Canrak Assailant is just like the Javelis and the Illuminator. Okay, the AI is taking a really long time Our to expand, time so that's good. Shot. Now, some of you might say I'm cold. Please save your home world for uh, not trying to get the pirates off of them when I had the chance. They had the chance too. My power is unmatched. Hey, everybody! It's a Canarac assailant. Insufficient credits. Our time is short. Okay, let's go help them out. Frigate ready. Our time is short. Insufficient credit. And now we are managing both choke points, so this will be interesting. Fleet has joined the battle. All right, so we're about to jump in at Algola. Ugh, what a mess! I'll see you all in the next video. We'll see how it goes. The important Frigate thing is we've ready. gotten a decent start, which is the real trick with the Vasari. So who knows? Maybe it'll all be okay.